In lieu of showing you this app in person, this video will quickly explain kind of how the app works. So right here I have a teacher tablet and I have a student phone. Now teachers could also use um, phones as well, that's fine, but the student device does have to be a phone because it has to be small enough to fit inside a VR headset. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Expeditions app on each device and notice there's two options. You can either lead if you're the teacher or if you're a student you can be the guide, so I'll click follow. And as soon as I do that, since these two devices are connected on the same network, this phone sees that this tablet, which is called Dexter VR, um, is ready to lead an expedition. Now I have to pick which expedition I want to show. Um, I could go up here and search for oh, over 625 different expeditions. I could search for just the right one that fits my content area, um, or I'm just gonna go through the ones I've already downloaded. So let's say we're going to Mount Everest trip today. I'm going to click on this. And as a student, I'm going to follow that Everest expedition. And it's asking me to turn it sideways so that I can load it into a phone. So I'm just going to do that. Now notice, as a teacher, I have not started the expedition yet, so the student has the ready screen. But when I do click Start, watch what happens. The student gets a stereoscopic view of this very same scene, and it works with the phone's gyroscope. So as I move it, the scene moves with me. Now, on the phone, it's not all that impressive, but once it's in a headset, you really feel like you're immersed um, inside of that picture. It's really quite astounding. Um, now, if I want to, as a teacher, first of all, I can see where the student is looking. So right now, that student's looking at the ground. If I scroll around, I see a little smiley face there. That is the student. When you have a class of 30 students, you'll see 30 smiley faces, and you'll see exactly where they are looking. Another thing that's great about this is, as a teacher, when I pull this up, Notice it gives me information that I can read about this scene. It gives me beginner, intermediate, and advanced questions. And it also has different landmarks I can point out. So let's look at the wind horses. If I click on that, and then kind of push this down so I can see, the wind horses are the colorful flags that are hung here. Now, as a student, you might see there's a little arrow here. And while I may not be able to show you from this view, if I follow that arrow, eventually it will take me so that I can see those wind horses. There we go. So I can actually direct student attention right to different points of interest. Um, unfortunately, you can't just tap anywhere. You have to use the existing points of interest, but they're still really, really good ones. When I'm ready to switch the view, I just swipe over to the next scene and click play. Depending on the expedition, there can be quite a few of these slides. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty average. Um, there can be more, there can be less, but they really give you, a lot of these expeditions, a really comprehensive view of um, different areas or um, points of cultural interest. One other thing that's really important about um, Google Expeditions is let's say you have a student who they tr are trying to use this in the headset, but they're getting dizzy or seasick. We'll talk about that later. Or some students can't use this because they might have a seizure disorder. One nice thing about this is they can still participate. There's a little tiny box down here, and if I click on it, I get a full screen view. So now the student can just hold the cell phone outside of um, the headset, and they can actually um, view everything the same way, just in their own hand. So it's really nice, and that's a great feature. And again, if I want to go back to the headset view, just click on that. So that's an overview of what Google Expeditions can do. It really is a powerful tool that can get our kids outside the classroom without ever having to load a bus, hop on a plane, or travel across an ocean.